Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Fresh Prince of Bel-Air bloopers. When, when are you going to come in? So, Robert, you know anything about uh, fixing this line that I'm screwing <laughs> See, she messed her line up, though. Hey, Ty, listen, all right? Now, I don't play that crap. No, no! No! I don't play that, listen! No! Oh, no, 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 no. For this list, we're looking at scenes that didn't make the final cut, but are still totally worth watching. Which of these made you laugh? Did we miss any? Tell us in the comments. Number 10. Will Feels the Spirit With a solo at the Easter service up for grabs, Carlton and Ashley start getting rather competitive. But in the end, they share the solo and beautifully complement each other's voices. However, it's Will who outshines them both, at least in this blooper. As the choir continues singing and dancing, Will comes across as somewhat possessed. He's acquired a microphone and starts to sing or shriek, to be more accurate, directly down to the camera. Eventually, he's so taken by the spirit that he just collapses right there on the floor. But just as your laughter starts to subside, he leaps up and keeps going. Number 9. Will Hands Himself Over I got a good feeling about this guy. Look at him. Will's good intentions backfire after he convinces his uncle to hire an ex-convict as the family's handyman. To evade his uncle's wrath, Will tries to make a run for it, only for Uncle Phil to grab him by the sweater. Hold it! <laughs> Apparently, that's not as easy to do as it looks, as this outtake proves. James Avery reaches out to grab the sweater, but he simply isn't fast enough. Never one to pass up the opportunity to make audiences laugh, Will hands himself over instead. Hold it, Will! <laughs> he jokingly urges them to continue with the scene, but it's kinda hard to convey anger when you can't stop smiling. Number 8. Alfonso Gets Hysterical There's nothing this cast seems to love more than a spot of overacting. Luckily for us, it provides some side-splitting material for the blooper reel. And it dances your trademark. So it's overacting. For instance, in this scene, Will and Carlton, who are both just in their underwear, are chased onto the ledge by an angry boyfriend called Mad Dog. In the episode, it leads to a misunderstanding and the involvement of the Crisis Intervention Unit. You're young. <laughs> and you have everything to live for. But in this outtake, Will has jumped or fallen, and Carlton is inconsolable. <laughs> God, what is taking? This also leads to a hilarious bit of improv between him and Mad Dog actor Jaime Cardrich. Still, Nothing's as funny as Alfonso's hysterically melodramatic cries. <laughs> Number 7. Alfonso Channels Macaulay Culkin What are you supposed to be? Uh, my idol, Macaulay Culkin. For Halloween, Hillary arranges a seance to contact her late fiancé and invites her family to join her. After Will and Phil accuse the psychic of being a fraud, he curses the whole family. Carlton has opted to dress up as his idol, Macaulay Culkin, that year, which makes for quite a fitting reaction when the hex claims its first victim. I've been suspended from the bench. My reputation is destroyed. I'm ruined. <laughs> but apparently, Alfonso didn't think that just one Home Alone-style scream was sufficient to really relay the gravity of the situation. So, as the camera stays zoomed in on his face, his eyes start shifting and he just keeps on screaming. <laughs> Number 6. Will is left distraught. I would have expected this from Carlton. But not you. <laughs> Ashley considers taking the next step with an old boyfriend when he comes back into town. However, Will and Carlton misconstrue the situation and worry that sweet little Ashley is growing up too fast. Well, you know it's, it's as soon as I can figure out what we're... When she catches them meddling in her life, she is furious and confronts Will. You know, 
I would expect this from Carlton. But not you. He's pretty downtrodden, but it's nothing compared to his reaction in this blooper. After Ashley tells Will that she expected more from him, he dramatically drops to his knees and essentially dances out his grief. <laughs> While the camera doesn't show Tatiana Ali's reaction, we're sure she was laughing just as hard as the rest of us. Number 5. Karen Can't Stop Laughing With old raggedy halty top to say, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> After Hillary's fiancé dies, Will urges his cousin to get back out there. But his intentions aren't entirely pure, and she's clearly not ready yet either. As she's about to bail on her date with Will's recently divorced college professor, Will convinces her to stay. You might never go out again. You become one of them crazy old women who walk around all day long with a shower cap on. <laughs> with an old raggedy halted top to say, jam. From what we can see, the actors workshopped a few ideas before settling on the line that would ultimately make it into the episode. In a series of outtakes, Will switches up the line, taking Karen Parsons by surprise every time. But old raggedy halted top to say, <laughs> We can only imagine that he was deliberately trying to make her laugh. If so, mission accomplished. Just for no reason, you'll say, dum dum did it. Number 4. Will ruins the take by sneezing Although much of our list states otherwise, sometimes things happen that are in no one's control. In the show's first Christmas episode, the Banks family is visited by former President Ronald Reagan. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, neighbor. I, I just want to say that I, yes, I greatly admire your, your wonderful Christmas decorations. Just as the president starts complimenting the family, Will interrupts him by sneezing. I just want to say that... I greatly admire your excuse. Me. Oh, God! Thank you! Thank you so much! Of course, they could have just said bless you and moved on, but we all know that's just not the Fresh Prince way. Instead, the Reagan actor offers Will a tissue before using it to wipe down his suit. Meanwhile, Tatiana, who is standing beside Will, yells in disgust. To be fair, if someone sneezed on us, we'd probably want a do over too. Well, how'd you like the bloopers? <laughs> <laughs> didn't really work for me, you know? I didn't think it was too funny. Number 3. Alfonso will not be publicly embarrassed. Absolutely not. But, Daddy, don't you even want to hear what I have to say about You heard our father, no! When Hillary announces that Playboy has offered to photograph her, Carlton disapproves. Carlton, what do you care? Look, I will not be publicly embarrassed by a potential scandal. But, however upset he might seem in this scene, it is nothing compared to this other take that surprisingly didn't make the final cut. The shot is ruined when Alfonso flubs his lines, so he decides to improvise instead. I will not be publicly embarrassed by um, a problem of me remembering my damn lines. It won't happen, damn it. It ain't gonna happen. Will then gets in on the action too and pretends to try and restore calm while his cousin continues to get heated. There's a reason fans loved the dynamic between Will Smith and Alfonso Ribeiro. Their ability to play off one another is always memorable, whether it made it into the episode or not. I'm not gonna allow it! It's okay, man. All right. It's okay. It's, it's all right. over! It's all right, man. It's all right, man. Let it go, man. Let it go. It's over! It's okay, man. All right. Number two, you don't want to lose your willy. I don't think I'd leave a convicted felon alone in my room. But what could you possibly have of any value? What you talking about, man? Uh... How about, for instance, my Willie Mays baseball? Will freaks out when his priceless baseball signed by Willie Mays disappears. After noticing the missing item, he comes rushing down the stairs, exclaiming, Where's my Willie? Girl, I can't find my Willie! We aren't given too much time to enjoy this double entendre, though, before the scene cuts away. However, as we now know, Will is partial to a little overacting. And clearly, he really wanted to convey the emotion one might feel if they lost their ball. So, in this outtake, he continues the scene by breaking down, flinging himself over the banister, and crying in a heap on the floor. Where's my willy? God, I can't find my willy! <laughs> we guess that losing your willy would be pretty devastating. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Carlton Breaks the Fourth Wall Alfonso shared with Digital Spy that the cast often enjoyed putting on impromptu performances for their audiences. On this occasion, he had told the director to keep the camera on him because he was going to do something, quote, funny funny. Carlton is horrified when Will tricks him into believing his prank backfired. And the scene was meant to end when Will says, gotcha. <laughs> Instead, Alfonso decided to break the fourth wall by running around the entire set as well as through the audience. This bit of improv was so hilariously brilliant that they had no choice but to include it when the episode aired. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.